there you go guys check that out lovely little ropes here beautiful pale orange iron i'm just at lodden marina if i didn't give you an update before i film this hi guys andy the budget angler here hopefully you can hear me over the wind on the microphone it's not too bad i'll cover it as best i can i'm just out on Braden water at the moment which is on the north of broads out on evening shadow um obviously i'm not driving i've got my uh, my helper driving me today and um yeah, a bit of fish. I've done a bit of fishing, got a little bit of footage, so I'll put that in now. I'm going to try and do a little bit more. It'll be nice to try, to try and get a few perch on the lures at some point. Of course, because it's a boating holiday, um, I don't actually do as much fishing as I normally do at home, so I'm just kind of like fishing when I can. You know, just going between the pubs. Sorry, she's uh, making some course corrections, and um, yeah, she's all right. Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, I'll uh, I'll put some fishing footage in, and uh, we'll see how we get on. But. You know, you'll like a bit of uh, fishing on the Norfolk Ports video, so I'll try and uh, try and um, get a bit more, more footage and get a usable video out. And there's a little, there's a little boat passing us now. There you go, guys. Another little rope here, just a hand size one, but absolutely welcome. There you go guys, it's cracking little ropes there. A bit, got some like, looks like he's got some scales missing. I think he might have been grabbed by something. Um, it could be a bit of disease, but uh, feisty little fish. I've had some much bigger ones, but typically not when I'm filming. So fingers crossed we can get a few more. This was on a single white maggot. A little bit of a better roach guys. That was just on a break, flake of bread. I was hoping it was gonna bring a bit better fish, but uh, I suppose it did in a way. Oh, this is better. Feels a bit like an eel. Oh no, a little green. There you go, guys. Cracking little skimmer there. Absolutely lovely. Quite a bronzy one as well. Beautiful, just in the weak, watery sunlight. I'll have to net that. There you go guys, cracking ropes are absolutely lovely. I just changed up from the maggot to a bread flake. Absolutely beautiful colours on that in the sunshine. Really orange ironing, cracking. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a lovely one. I think it might be a rod. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've never had such good fishing at Salas before. Oh, that's a roach. What a cracking roach. That's the, that is the biggest one of the holiday. That is a whopper. There you go, guys. How about that then? One absolute banger of a roach. That is a proper Broads Warrior. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. I made up with that. Just, to, just on a little bit of a bread flake. Cracking fish. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm? That's just a private, like a private charter jet or something like that. Oh, fish on. Oh. 
There you go, guys. Check that out. Absolutely banging perch. I'm just holding a bit funny there because I've got a feeling he's going to give it a wiggle. That was on a really tiny little jig, but absolutely cracking. Well, guys, back home from the broads now. Sorry I didn't actually give you any real updates sort of midweek on that. Um, it was kind of like a busy week holiday wise we did lots of walks um went for lots of meals and things like that so i didn't actually do as much fish as i would have liked I had some lovely fish though which you would have just seen in the footage but i didn't give you any real updates as to where we were or anything like that um but the the, the fishing with the orange boat in front of us that was um that was on the river bureau and bennett's and then the uh the last uh sort of bit of footage fishing off the front of the boat that was um sal house broad where are those nice skimmers and then um the the very last fish i think was that perch and that was in the marina where we keep the boat so just a bit of an update on that but it was a really nice holiday it was fantastic weather i got really nice and brown and it was it was lovely to be back out on the broad so um if you've never done it i can really recommend it it's it's not that cheap that the prices have gone up with a lot more people staying at home for their holidays but check out the syndicate boats i mean evening shadows a syndicate boat i, I own part of that boat um, with some other people we pay a management company to look after it for us in terms of the management of the syndicate um but there are non-managed and private syndicates out there so have a little look have a little google around there's some fantastic deals to be had and if you like boating on the broad it's such a cheap way of doing it um so yeah just a shout out for that although um i think with um with holiday rental boat rental prices being what they are i think the syndicate people are going to hold on to their shares um because if you've got a share you like boating and if you like boating you're going to want to do it whether you've got a share or not so i think uh yeah but anyway just keep an eye out um keep an eye out for for those shares hopefully you enjoyed that video as much as i enjoyed making it um next week we've got another north broads video coming because obviously as you know i've not been fishing as much and so there was a big gap i had a month between the two weeks on the boat and then uh probably the next video after that one might actually be a north broads one as well because i've all my uh, broads holidays are coming in the autumn this year. Anyway, I'm waffling on, um, but thanks as ever for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed that, please hit that thumbs up. Please drop us a comment um, if you want to know anything about the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys. Fish on.